Okay. Father, we thank you for this day. We ask you right now to touch in this congregation. And Lord, we pray even touch those who labor in the truth. And Father, we pray touch each one as we go forth. And that you are blessed that this truth come out. Shut up. Shut up. Then uh, go to First Peter one and twenty five. First Peter one twenty five. Yeah. So Matthew twenty four thirty five, didn't he? No, he's looking for his Bible on his oh. uh, tablet. Oh. It seems oh. like it's missing. So got yeah, what happened? Yeah, they were there, but now they're gone. I guess you got to install a new one. Yeah, put about five or six Bibles. Now they're gone. Yeah. They Matthew chapter 24 verse 35. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. So right there, let you know the words forever, right? True. So everything else will pass away. So Elohim, so which is the most high, right? Yeah. And Christ, everything that 
they do stands forever, right? Right. And we'll go to that chapter is uh, First Peter one and twenty five. Yeah. So First Peter one twenty five. Peter chapter 1 verse 1 no verse 25 Chapter 1, verse 20, uh, 25. But the word of the Lord. Wow. It's First Peter, chapter 1, verse 25. Is that 25 or that 35? 35. First Peter, chapter one, verse one, verse twenty. Oh, man, it's in and out. Yeah. It's going in and out. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I think it's the next boy is acting up. Well, like I said, we got one coming. It, 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 it doesn't stay. It, it goes out. Yeah, it's it, 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 what's called it going. Yeah. 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 First Peter, chapter one. Oh, man. Wow. Hmm. 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 First Peter, chapter one, verse twenty five. But the word of the Lord endure forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. Okay. Yeah. So you see that in the scriptures then, the word of the Lord endure forever, right? Yep. So it's telling you that it stands forever, right? Right. So that's in First Peter 1, 25. Mm -hmm. Now go to Isaiah 40, verse 7 and 8. So for chapter 40 of Isaiah. And so verse 7 and 8. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 7. The grass withers, the flower fades, because the Spirit of the Lord blows upon it. Surely the people is grass. Eight. 
the grass withers, and the flower fades, but the word of Elohim shall stand forever. See? The word will stand forever, right? Yeah. So the grass faded, well, we know that goes into the the nations, right? Right. That's because it's talking about the people. True. They will fade away. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But the Most High's word will stand. True. Right? Yeah. So, as, uh, not Isaiah, but Hebrews 4.12. Hebrews 4.12. Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 12. For the word of Elohim is going. What the heck? It's really going out. Yeah, it is. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 For the word of Elohim is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the divine of son of the soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, is the discerner of the thoughts and intent of the heart. See? Powerful. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And we'll go to chapter Matthew 5, 18. Matthew 5, 18. Matthew chapter 5, verse 18. For very I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one job, one till, shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. See? That will be fulfilled, right? Mm -hmm. Still talking about the word, right? True. Sure. So, so we know the Lord is the word, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And we go to... Uh, Second Peter three three ten three ten. So Second Peter three ten. Second Peter chapter three verse ten. But the day of the Lord will come at the deep in the night, in the which the heavens 
shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that, that are therein shall be burned up. See? So we know that's going into World War III, right? Yes. But the word would not pass away, right? True. Or stand. Now go to Psalms 119 and verses 1, and then we'll jump all the way to 176. That verse 1 then jump down all the way to 176. Uh, uh, what, what book? It's in Psalms 119. Oh, okay. We'll start with verse 1, then we'll jump to 176. Okay, we go to 1, and then Nate will go to 76, right? 176. 176. Psalm 119, verse 1. Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Psalm 119, verse 176. I have gone astray like a lost sheep, seeking thy servant, for I do not forget thy commandments. So when we forget the Most High's commandments, you go astray. Wow. See? Yeah. A lot of our people have went astray. Sure did. Right? Yes. So that's why I jumped from there. And now we're still in the same chapter. Uh -huh. Jump all the way back to verse 3. Okay. Psalms 119 verse 3. They also do no iniquity. They walk in his ways. So the Bible is telling you that those those who walk in his ways don't do no iniquity. Right. That's what the scripture said. True. Right? And we know his ways is commandments, right? Yes. Right? Yes. And so then you go on to that scripture. So we're going to break it down because we already went to it. So, because before I go to uh, John 17, 17, go to Psalms 119, 142. 142. Well, we're still in that same book. Right.
Psalms 119, verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Thy law is the truth. See? So the law is the truth, right? Yeah. Now we go to John 17, 17. Same yeah, St. John 17, chapter 17 and verse 17. Okay. This all ties together, though. Yeah. When you you talking about Elohim does what he does is forever, right? Mm -hmm. So it all ties together. Gospel of John, chapter seventeen, verse seventeen: Sanctify them through that truth. Thy word is truth. So, so this right here, this scripture right here tells you that you're being sanctified through the truth, right? And what is the truth? The law, right? Exactly. So it's his word yeah, sure that signifies you. Yeah. Cause that's when you go to Ephesians chapter five, go to Ephesians chapter five, twenty-six, five twenty-six. Ephesians chapter five, verse twenty-six. I, I, yeah. I, I didn't get no uh, Oh you didn't get what? I, I didn't get John. I missed out on that. Uh, John seventeen seventeen. Okay, John seventeen seventeen. Okay. Cause that's talking about sanctified through thy truth. That's yeah. the law, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then it, uh, if you go to Ephesians, Ephesians 5 and 26, it ties in together. See it? So, oh, y'all probably not there yet, huh? Right. Yeah, Ephesians 5 26. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 26. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the word by the law. I mean, by the word. See? So that's where your baptism goes into. Yep. You know, because you know, a lot of people think water baptism. I know we do that to obey the Lord, right? Yeah. But it's that, that water is not what's going to transform you, right? True. It's the Word. It's the Word. Yeah. The washing of the Word, right? Yeah. So right here, we got that right. Yeah. And here's a, here's a precept that goes with this, Sirach 32, 24. So it's the rock 32 and 24, verse 24. Not going too fast, are we? Okay, you said 22, uh, 34? No, yeah, 30, 32. 32. Yeah, 32. Oh, 24. Okay, 32. And 24. 24, okay. Y'all see how it connects with that? Yeah, yeah. Cause you gotta believe, right? Yeah, right. And to believe means you gotta you gotta take heed to the commandment. True. Cause a lot of people say they believe, but they don't. They not take heed to the. No, they not take heed to the commandments. No. Really? Okay. <clears throat> Exclusive acid, Sirach, chapter thirty-two, verse twenty-four. He that believeth in the Lord taketh heed to the commandments. And he that trusted in him shall fare never the worse. See? Now you go back to uh, Psalm 119, this time verse 9. So Psalms 119, 19, verse 9. Verse 9.
Psalm 119, verse 9. Or withal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking he according to thy word. So that comes out of Sirach 30, 32 and 24. Yep. When you say, and now you read this and say, how are you going to cleanse your way? By taking heed to the commandment. Right. That's how you're going to cleanse. That's how you're going to get clean. True. Right? Yes. I can't get clean just dipping 25, 6, 25 times in the water. <coughs> True. Right? Yeah, you still be, yeah. Still in sin, right? Yep, yep, still in it. it, it I got to yep. take heed to the word. True. And do the commandment. Right. Right? True. Because there's a lot of people that said they've been baptized. There's people I heard that have been baptized a hundred times and still in the sin. <laughs> so it's not the water that comes Exactly. Out, right? It's the word. It's the word. True. And by taking heed to the word. Yes. Right? Yes. Because you can have the word taught to you all day. Mm -hmm. But if you don't apply it. Yeah. And do what it says. Right. You're still in sin. Sure is. And yeah. so I hate to say, I can't help you. Right. The word can't help you. No, sure. Because can. if you're not applying it. Yeah, you gotta apply it. Yep. Right? Yep. Cause I like what the Lord say, say this. You was caught up in eating anything you want to eat. <laughs> and you came to the Sabbath and you yeah. found out you can eat that. Right. And so, but if you don't apply it, we say that you can't eat pork, you can't eat shrimp, you can't eat all these things. Mm -hmm. But you go back and do it anyway. Oh. No change took place. No change. Right. Right? Right. But if you say, well, I'm going to stop doing that, that's when the change takes yes. place. Yes. Yes. Right? Yes. But we got, we got to understand, I got to replace what I used to eat, right? True. If I can't eat pork, replace it with turkey. Right. Right? Yes. Beef. Yeah, beef. Chicken. Stay away from pork. Yes. Right? Yes. And get that. That's how I change that. True. Because you got to replace it with something. Right. Right? Yeah. That's how you do that. Yeah, sure is. Right? Yep. We change, you got to change your bad habits. Get good habits. True. Right? Yeah. They say, I think somebody said if you do it for like at least a couple, uh, like how long you do it, then you uh, you will get used to doing that. Oh, you're talking about changing food? Yeah, because when you change your habit yeah. that you've been, because some people are like, it's so hard for them to change. Yeah. But if you change that and start doing that for a long time, uh -huh. you'll start to adapt to it. Right. Right? Yeah. Break that old habit. Yeah, you break that old habit. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. And so, uh, then I know that you may get those cravings. Yeah, you, you said, do. Well, I can't give up that pork <laughs> and uh, all that. But the way to fight that is with these scriptures. True. You right? Yeah. Anything, like. Yeah. The Lord says, don't do it, don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> Because there may be other food you may like. You may like shrimp. Yeah. Lobster. Yeah. All that. We know we can't eat all that. No, we sure can. Right? Yeah. It's not good for you anyway. It's true. It's right? not. It destroys the body. So how we how we change that? We change that by getting good habits. True. Changing what we eat. Yeah. That's how you change that. Yeah. And so that's for somebody that's, that may be hearing, they will come across, and you hear the truth for the first time, mm -hmm. and you feel, how do I change you start there. Right. One step at a time, right? Yeah, one step at a time. And the more you start, then then the next thing you know, you start changing everything. True. Because once you start with that one thing, yep. you start changing everything. Yeah. Am I telling the truth? True. Because I know it, it happened with us. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. So that's, that, that's just to help someone out there. Yeah, I hope, I hope that, that helped. And so also, uh, the precept going into this I got is uh, 1 Peter 1.23 or 1 Peter Also, is, uh, you got to go back to the milk, right? Right. And what is the milk? The laws. True. Okay. 
1 Peter chapter 1, verse 1, uh, uh, 23. Being born again, not of a corruptible, incorruptible seed, but the incorruptible seed, you know, incorruptible, by the word of Elohim, which liveth and abideth forever. So I tell you again, the word abideth forever, right? Yeah. And you are born again by incorruptible seed, which is the word right. of Elohim. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So this, it abides forever. True. Now go back to uh, First Peter, go to First Peter chapter 1 and verse 24 and 25. Uh, same, same one, but yeah. we're going down to 24 and 25. Yeah. First Peter chapter 1, verse 24. For all the flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man as the flower of grass. The grass withers, and the flower thereof falls away. So it's not like Wait, 25. But the word of the Lord endure forever. And this is the word was by the gospel is preached unto you. So it sounds like to me that Peter was quoting Isaiah. Sure was. See? Yeah. So he's quoting Old Testament now. Yes. Right? Sure was. Sure is. So a lot of people, a couple of people say, I don't have the Old Testament. <laughs> but they don't know it's all connected. Sure is. Right? Yeah. And pretty much. It's saying the same thing. Sure is. Right? Yep. Now, this is what I wanted to get to. I wanted to get to this verse. And this chapter is Ecclesiastes, uh, uh, the regular one. Ecclesiastes 3, 14. Three fourteen. If you didn't hear me. Ecclesiastes is three fourteen. That's your. Uh, that's not uh, the Sirach is your, your other one. Three fourteen. This feels good, won't it? Okay. Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 14. And I know that whatsoever Elohim does, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. And Elohim does it, and men shall fear before him. See? How did he miss that? How did he miss that? Because when he said that, what Elohim does is forever, right? Yeah. So that means the law is not done away with. That's right, right there. Boom. Because what the Most High does, Elohim, is forever. Yeah. The scripture said it. Yeah, it said right here. Right? And you can't take from it. Yeah, it's right here. Or add from it. Right? Yeah. Because whatever he, the Most High does is forever. True. Right? Yeah. So you can't change the word what's written. Exactly. Right? Right. Because also, he will add to you sure. whatever is written in yeah. this Bible. Yeah. He will add the plagues to you, right? Sure, yeah. And we can show you that because first let's go to uh, Proverbs 30. And I think it's, it kind of speaks the same thing like that. But you go to uh, Proverbs 30, verses 5 and 6. So Proverbs 30. 5 and 6. 5 and 6. Chapter 30, verse 5. <clears throat> Every word of Elohim is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. 6. Add thou not unto his word, lest he reprove thee, and thou shalt be found a liar. 
See, even that will tell you not to add, add unto his words. Yep. Or he will reprove thee. Right. And thou shalt be found a liar. Very true. Right? Yep. So right there. And also if you go to Revelations 22, 19. Revelations 22, 19. Revelation chapter 22, verse 19. If any man shall take away from the word of the book of this prophecy, Elohim shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the Holy Spirit and from the things which are written in this book. So he, he warned you. Yeah, warned. If you take a part out of that, yeah. he'll, take your part of, uh, you, he'll take your part out. Yeah. And you won't have eternal life. That's what we say here. Right? Not good. <laughs> So, you can't mess with the Bible. Yeah. Good Lord. True. Right? Yep. You only can read it and go with what is written. Exactly. You can't add your your part in it. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. You have to go with only what was written. True. Right? Yep. So, now let's go to uh, Ezra, 2 Ezra 9, 37. So, you go to 2 Ezra uh, 9, 37. But it's the fourth one in your separate right. Yeah. Yeah. Because this tells us that the law is still in force. Right? Yeah. yeah. So it tells you that the law is forever. And we're going to give you a precept. Oh, what, 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 what chapter? So it's in uh, the chapter 9, 37. Okay, nine. So that's the fourth Ezra, 937. 937. This scripture tell you the laws is still in force. So sure those is. who tell you that the laws done away with, they lying to you. Sure is. No, but uh, uh, yeah. right. And so they just don't have the understanding to know which law it, which, which law the Lord Lord did with. Yeah. That's the law of sacrifices like we have been telling you. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Second Esther, or fourth Esther, chapter nine, verse thirty seven. Not with notwithstanding, the law perish not, but we menace in force. See? Then if you go to uh it's in, it's still in force, right? Yeah. Meaning it's forever, right? Right. Now, if you go to uh, Psalms 1, 117, verse 2. Yeah, 117. Verse 2. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, very yeah, short. Yeah, I'm sure, yeah. Psalm 117, verse 2. For his merciful kindness is great toward us, and the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Praise ye the Lord. Y'all see what it says there? It said the truth endure forever. And what is truth? Law. Yes. And you can get the precept if, uh, if on that. Psalms 119, 142. So he said the law is forever. Endure yep. forever. Yep. So you you got to stop listening to those people that are telling you. <laughs> and, and go to the Bible for yourself. Right? Yep. Yeah, leave those people alone. Yeah. If they're not coming out of the Bible, leave those folks alone. True. Right? Exactly. Psalm 119, verse 142. Thy righteousness is everlasting righteousness. 
Thy law is the truth. So it's clear. Yep. It's clear. Yep. That the law is truth. Yes. And I add to this, go to uh, Sirach 1919. This right here show you that the law is a doctrine of life. Right? Yep. Doctrine of life. Is that 142 or that just 42? No, 142. Oh, 142. 119, 142. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, when we, the reason why we're going here to show you that the doctrine is, the law is a doctrine of life. It sure is. So, you go to 1919. Sirach. That's a Sirach. Yeah. 1919. So what can you do, right? Mm -hmm. Scripture will prove you wrong. Right. Inclusive Sirach, chapter 19, verse 19. <clears throat> the knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. And they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. See? Yep. Immortality. Immortality, that means you live forever. True. A new body. Yep. Right? Yep. That's if you keep yeah. the right. commandments. Yep. Yeah, put that if there. Right? Yep. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Can't just say, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna live forever and you're doing everything like the sun. <laughs> right? Yeah, you might as well forget that. You might as well get it. Yep. Right? Yep, true. So Very you gotta true. do what the most high said. Right? Yes. Because that's the way he had it set up. Exactly. Right? Yep. So now we we see it said the law. All that abides forever. Go to Matthew 7.21. 7, okay. So that just show you the most high, he didn't get rid of his law. Sure did. He didn't get rid of it. <coughs> Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that does the will of my Father which is in heaven. So when you talk the will of the Father, the will of the Father is the law, yeah. Sure is. It's not prayer. <laughs> right. It's not preaching. Right. It's not casting on demons. <laughs> it's keeping the law. Sure, yeah. Right? Yes. And we give you precept for that. Go to uh, uh, Ecclesiastes 12. The regular one. Okay. Ecclesiastes 12. What it says the conclusion is. Oh, yeah. The end, yeah. Yeah. That's 13. Ecclesiastes is 12, 13. Mm -hmm. I can't believe people don't know that, do they? I don't think they want to see it. This is the purpose of man, right? Yep, sure is. This is the whole purpose of man. Yep. That, 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 this is what the Bible says. Yep. I think they don't want to read this. <laughs> or see it. Yeah. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Elohim and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. See, that's the, that's what your purpose is. Yeah. To keep the commandments. That's it. Right? Sure is. That's why the most high created you. That's right. For that one reason. To keep his commandments. To keep his commandments. Right. Yep. So many people I'm telling for my purpose. Yeah, right. The your purpose. purpose is to keep the commandments. That's all it is. Right. It sure is. And if you keep the commandments, the Lord will bless you with everything, everything else. Yes. Right? Yes. That should be your first priority. Sure be. Yeah. Keep the be Lord's priority. commandments. Exactly. And forget right. all this other mess. Yeah, forget all the other stuff. <laughs> yeah. Because other stuff is going to get you lost. Sure. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. It's going to mess you up. Oh, yeah, mess you up bad. Destroy you. Yeah. You know what I found out? The Most High don't have to do nothing for us to destroy us, really. Right. All you got to do is leave you to your own lust. Yep. Your own lust will destroy you. Exactly. Yeah, our demise. Boom. Boom. <laughs> your own lust will destroy you. Sure will. Right? Yes. No doubt. Because we can tell you, because we already quote that, right? Yeah. And now if you go to, uh, first let's go to, uh, I had uh, Sirach 9, chapter 9. 
and verse 12 and 13. Oh, you already got that. Oh, did we go there yet? Yeah, we did. Oh, I don't think we read uh, yeah. Sirach, Sirach 9, oh, 12. No, 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 we did. 13, because it, it speaks this about... This chapter 9, right? Because that speaks about pride, right? Right. Uh, 9, and, and what, what verse? It's uh, 12 and 13. Gotcha. I don't mind if I add some more scriptures to this, no, because no, there's, there's, some, there's some scriptures coming to me. Okay. So I will go to this after we get done from there, from here. Okay. Okay. Ecclesiastes, Sirach, chapter nine, verse twelve. Delight not in the thing that the ungodly have pleasure in. But remember, they shall not go unpunished unto the grave. Tw uh, 13. Keep thee far from the man that have power to kill. So shall thou not doubt the fear of death. And if thou come unto him, make no fault. Lest he take away thy life presently. Remember that thou goest into the midst of the snare, and thou walkest upon the battlement of the city. Ooh, I think I have it wrong. That was the wrong chapter. Okay. So that's in chapter 10. Okay. Chapter 10, verse... Uh, the same 12. It's in 12. In 13? Yeah, 12, 13. Okay, let me change that. I wrote the wrong chapter. <laughs> chapter <laughs> number. That does happen. Yep. Inclusive as a chapter 10, verse 12. The beginning of pride is when one departed from Elohim, and his heart is turned away from his maker. 13. For pride is the beginning of sin, and he that have it shall pour out abomination. Therefore the Lord brought upon them strange calamity, and overthrow them utterly. So this right here, it says pride is the beginning when one departs from Elohim. Yes. And his heart is turned away from his maker. Right. That's bad. And I have to speak on that heavy because I hear some people that will say, I know I'm already making it in. Oh, yeah. That's I already got that. my place. That's pride. That's speaking. pride. Woo. Not because the Bible speaks that you've got to examine yourself. That's yeah, true. Very and true. And then he said, at least he that think he's strong mm -hmm. falls. Yeah, he will. You have to constantly examine yourself. True. No, Check yeah. yourself and see if you're right. Yeah. Before the Most High. Yes. The Most High don't. He don't like pride. He right? Sure don't. He and don't. all that agency. And I give you a switch for that. That's in First uh, Samuel chapter two. And I hear some people say. I know I'm making it in. I'm yep. going to get the kingdom and all that. <laughs> yeah. Don't right. talk that way. Because for that most dangerous. you have to humble yourself. Right? Yeah. That's dangerous. That could be pride. It sure is. Very dangerous. Chapter 2. Verse uh, 3. Y'all see it? Yep. So that right here shows you that the Most High hates uh, arrogancy. Yeah, he sure does. He really does. <clears throat> First Samuel uh, chapter 2, verse 3. Talk no more so exceedingly proudly. Let no arrogancy come out of the mouth of the out of your mouth. For the Lord is the Elohim of knowledge, and of him actions are weighted. So when you talk that way, the Most High is weighing your actions. <laughs> yeah. He's a, he is uh, an Elohim of knowledge. Exactly. Meaning the law. True. Right? Yeah. Because that's the knowledge of the Most High. His law, right? True. So some of y'all that thought, I know I'm going to make it. Mm -hmm. and all that no, you better get rid of that. <laughs> yeah, true. And you have to be able to ask the Most High to check your heart. You got to. Touch your mind. Yeah, check your, your mind. spirit. Yes, Because sir. that's not the right spirit. Uh, true. That is not the right, right? spirit. No. 
Because you don't want to be lost. Yeah, because that will take you out. Right? <laughs> yeah. Talking ignorant? Oh, yeah. And probably. That is not good. Right? So I know I'm going to make it in. Yeah, that's not good. I know because... I got to sleep in the kingdom. <laughs> wow. That is, that's dangerous. <laughs> right? Yeah. That's very dangerous. <laughs> right? Sure is. See, I'd be scared to talk like that. Right, me too. You know, I'm scared to talk like that. Ooh, but I, I know the Lord, you can talk like that and you can be lost. That's right. Right? That's right. And it don't take the... You gotta search yourself. Ooh, you gotta search and say, what well, I'm saying? And I don't know what these people have... Have you read the Bible? The Bible? He said, examine yourself. Sure did. You gotta examine yourself daily. Exactly. Right? Because you're like, what? Come on, jump down there, yeah. mouth. Because you don't know if you're going to make it or not. True. Right? Hey, very true. Yeah. Very true. Because you can be strong today. Tomorrow you fall. That's right. Right? That's right. Not trying. I'm not saying that you're planning to fall. No, but they might fall. You know? Yeah. That's why you got to pray. You got to say, Lord, keep you. Yeah. Keep me. Because yeah. I don't want to fall. True. You know? Because you can fall anytime. True. Very right? true. Yeah. Because you can be strong today. And bang. Boom. Boom tomorrow. <laughs> right? Yeah. So you got to ask the Lord to keep you. True. Because only he can keep you, right? Yeah. So some of these people better come out of that pride. Yeah, because that's that what pride. it is. It's not my pride. And then I got another good, good scripture for that. Yeah. And that's in 1 John chapter 2 and verse 15, 16, and 17. Perfect. It goes with that pretty much where we talk about pride, right? Yeah. Well, I know. I think that's my favorite scripture. Uh, yeah. Uh, but. So 1 John chapter 2, verse 15, 16, and 17. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I love this. That's scripture. why you, when you read that, you you say, Lord, if there be any pride in me, take it out of yeah. me. Yeah, very true. If there be any lust, yeah. you know, take Get it out of me. Yeah. And see, you know, when people think about lust, they just think about sex, right? Yeah, that's what they think. But lust is dealing with the things you lusted for, right? True, very true. You could be, you could be lusting for fame. Oh yeah. Fortune. Yeah. Power. Power. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Position. Yeah, position. Right. Yeah. So for, you, yeah. You gotta make sure you're not caught up in lust. True. Those lust and those things. Exactly. Yeah, you can go ahead. Okay. First John chapter two verse fifteen. Love not the world. Neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So he says, for, the, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it is of the world. 17. And the world passes away, and the lust thereof. But he that does the will of Elohim abides forever. So they go again. Yep. He that does the will yep. of the Father, meaning keeping the commandments. Keeping the commandments. Right? Yep. Not saying, oh, I'm praying, I'm doing the will. <laughs> oh, I'm preaching, I'm doing the will. No, that's not So I'm going to make it in. Right. But what did Christ say? He said, many that prophesy in his name, yeah. he's going to say, depart from me. Exactly. Right? So yeah. that means he was preaching. Preaching means prophesy. True. Right? Yeah. Teaching, right? Yeah. Teaching. Yeah. He's going to tell many of them. Many who are prophesying in his name, he's going to tell many yeah. to depart yeah. from me. Yes, he will. Right? Yeah. He said, I never knew you. Woo. He said, depart from me. You work with some of Yeah, work. And nicotine means transgression of the law. That's it. Transgression right? of the law, yeah. It's not what these other people say, secret sin. <laughs> hidden sin. No, there ain't no hidden sin. It's no. transgression uh, of the law. Of the law, yeah. True. I don't know what your pastors are telling you. Well, they but it's in, their, it's in their concordance. Yeah, it's there. All you got to do is look it up. Yeah, look it up. Right? Yep. And so that's what a nicotine is. A nicotine sure. is transgression of the law. Exactly. That means you're breaking the most highest commandments. True. Right? Sure is. So it goes back. If you go back and we say it's transcendent of the dress of the law, we can tie it in to first John three four. Yeah. First John three four. Cause that tell you what sin is. Sure is. First John. Because some people say, and I just I don't want to tell you <laughs> what I first I asked some people and because the Lord put on my spirit to ask them. Yeah. I asked them, I said, what is sin? And you know the answer I got? What? They said, it's doing something bad. <coughs> That's not it. <laughs> but the Bible don't say that. No, it sure doesn't. This is the answer what sin is. Yeah, here it goes. First John chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. See? That's what sin is. The Bible tell you that. Yeah. Right? It's yeah. not what I heard many people tell me when I asked them. Yeah. They said it's doing something bad. Doing something bad. <laughs> Right? 
The Bible says transgress the law. That means breaking the most high laws. Exactly. And what are his laws that he told you that you that you gotta keep? Yeah. Whatever he told you they had to keep, if you're breaking those laws, that means you were sin. That's right. Right? True. Because he said not to commit adultery, not yep. to kill. Yep. Steal. Yep, steal. Right? Yep. Don't worship some idols. Worship, <laughs> don't worship idols, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Don't be caught up in adultery. Yeah. 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 Right? Yeah, my people doing that. Mess. Having sex before marriage. Right. Right? Yeah. Because that's fornication. Yeah, and don't be lying. Don't lie. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Don't bear false witness. Yeah, that's what it is. Right? True. So do doing those things. But it even goes even deeper than that. Yes, it does. Right? Yes, it does. Homosexuality. Yeah, that's all that stuff. It. Yeah, it's all part right? of it. Right? Yeah. That's part of it. Sure is. You know? Yeah. If you bring in those things, yep. you in sin. Exactly. Right? Sure is. Yep. You in sin. Exactly. And then they didn't get out. They got the... <laughs> but there's a way out. Yep. For you. Sure is. But you got to come out by repenting. Right. What does repent mean? It just means change. Yeah, change. Right. That's what I mean. Repent means change. Yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. It'll change. Yeah. Make that change. And it don't mean you weeping and crying. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. Because you, you can weep and cry. Oh, it's Lord, I'm it's sorry. It's sorry. It's sorry. It's but you're still doing it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You have to change completely. They got to change. That's yeah. what repent means. Change. It sure is. I mean, turn around the direction you was going. Yeah. Now you're going straight. True. Go to straight and narrow. Yeah, that was off track. Right? Yeah, get back on track. So that's what that means. Yeah. Right? Yep. Because I'm I've been there myself in a church when I seen people come to the altar and they supposed to repent. Mm hmm See people weeping and crying. <laughs> that's right. not that's not real repentance. No, that's not now. real repentance. because 'cause I'm just saying because I seen it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I see people repent, but it seems like you're still the same thing. They, oh, same thing wow. doing, right? Yeah, and then change. But there's some I see that might probably have repented right. Uh -huh. But there's a lot that I see probably doing the same thing. Yep. Yep. That's not repent. Yep. And the whole lot of doing is a lot of hidden yep. sin. Yep. Yep. Hidden sin, right? Yep. Yep, are doing that too. So repent just means to change what you're doing. Right. Right? That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Yep. And so I, I see you see something like this. I see you see someone that come weep and crying yeah. and saying they they sorry. Yeah. But then you see a, a brother, he don't cry at all. No. He didn't did nothing, but he did it he 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 repented yeah. in his life. Yeah. Changed everything. Yeah. Changed everything. Yeah. Didn't say nothing. Didn't cry. Right. Didn't scream in the church. Sure. <laughs> but he changed everything. Yes, he did. But then you see somebody else. They weep, they cry, they're falling out, yep. they're doing everything, <laughs> but they're still in sin. Yeah, they're still in sin. Mm -mm -mm. So you know what they eat. So there's a difference. And so I said, wow, I, you see someone who cried. They, you didn't know, he didn't tell everybody because no. he changed. Right. But you can see he changed. Right. Yeah. He did it quietly. Yeah, he did it quietly. Right? Yeah. He got rid of what he's supposed to get rid of? Sure did. Did it quietly. Yeah, he changed his act. Yeah. That's repent. Yeah, that's repent. Right. Change. True. Right? Yeah, that's what it's all about. That's what repenting really sure is. Sure is. Yep. To change what you're doing. Yep. Right? It sure is. So yep. it's not weeping and snot no. and crying. No, you're crying and all that mess. You, know, you can cry, but if you're crying, you want it to be real. Yeah, want we'll to be real doing right? it. Right? Yeah, don't be fake. Don't be fake. <laughs> right? Yeah. Because that would be a waste of time. Sure is. Nothing but a waste of time. So we give you another verse because... We brought out about the lust of the world and the pride of life, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. So if you walk into that, you now have the love of the Father in you. Right. And True. we give you scripture for what the love of the Father is. Right. Second John one and six. Second John one six. So we know now the love of the Father is keeping the commandments. True. Right? Yep. There's a lot of people that don't know that. True. They don't know what the love of, of the Father is. But it's, it's in the Bible. And, yep. we, and we're showing you right now, it's in the Bible. The love of the Father is, is the key to the commandments. It's not saying, Lord, I love you. <laughs> or just waving and say, if you love the Lord, just wave at him. Oh, wow. Just wave at him. <laughs> if you love the Lord, get out and dance around the church. That, that, that ain't good either. <laughs> That's not, that's not it. The right. Bible tell you to keep the commandments. Yep. You know, because if God said that was love, you would have thought he would put that in the Bible, right? Right. 
And so you probably read in the Bible, if you love me, just run out of the church. <laughs> and they'll do it. Right? Oh, I think but there's nothing in the Bible. Though. Sure. What we do read in the Bible, if you love me, keep my commandments. Yeah. Right? Everybody's ready? Second yeah. John, verse 1, verse, uh, verse 6. And this is love, that we walk after his commandments. This is the commandment that, that as ye have heard from the beginning, ye shall walk in it. So that's the, that's the love of the most high. Yep. Keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. It's not shouting, right. or dancing, yep. or screaming, True. or hollering. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because you can do all that and still miss the kingdom. Exactly. Right? Still, yeah, still miss it. Right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Very so true. then to show you the number one thing the most I care about is you keep the commandments. That's it. He don't care about you singing and screaming and shouting and all that. All that. The Lord, right. the Lord I tell you, take that mess out of here. Yeah, that's what he said. Get rid of that. Because he see right through you that you ain't keeping no, right. no commandments. No all. commandments. Right? right. All, everyone. That's all. Oh, Lord, that's, that's bad. Yep. Right? True. So he's all about that. True is. That's the heart of the most high. Yes, it is. Right? Yes. Because if you go, and we can give you the scripture for that, and some scriptures for that, because if you go to uh, Jeremiah 30, I mean not 30, but chapter 9, 923. 923. Quiet over there. Trying to get people's attention. This is not your time. Uh. Nine twenty-three and twenty-four. Okay. <clears throat> Jeremiah chapter nine verse twenty-three. Thus says the Lord: Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. Twenty-four. But let him that glory find glory in this. That he understand and knoweth me that I am the Lord which exercise loving kindness, judgment, righteousness in the earth. For thee, for for in these things I delight, said the Lord. So the most I show you that he delight in judgment. Yeah. That he loves judgment, right? Yeah. And loving kindness. Yes. And judgment and righteousness. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because he's telling us he don't want the wise men. Wise men that goes into education. Yeah, true. That you you glory in your education. Yeah. Because we see a lot. Oh, you talk about your degree. Yes, it does. And you just glory in that. It sure does. And you rub it. Some y'all rub it in other people's faces. It sure does. Oh, I got my degree. Yep. You know. Yeah, it does. There's nothing wrong with getting your degree. Yeah. But we can't glory those things above the most high. And that's what they do. Right. Yeah. And then we can't glory in our bodies. True. Above the most. We got that going on. <laughs> yep. <laughs> got me and Robert. You see how strong I am? Yep. You see, yep. you see his muscles? Yep. You got that, that going on. You yep. got that. Yep. They boast about their body. Sure does. About their strength. Yep. Probably strong. Boast how many how many miles they run. Yep. Right? <laughs> yep. And how strong they are. Yep. Right? Yep. So people are boasting in their bodies. Sure they does. Bo they boasting in their education. Yep. You know? Yep. You, that's all pride. Sure is You pride. humble yourself. Yep. Right? Yeah. So, just like I said, there's nothing wrong with doing those things. You just can't put them above the most high. True. Right? Yeah. You can't be so caught up on yourself yeah. that you are just lost in your body. Yeah. Showing off how strong you are and mm -hmm. muscles and all that. Yeah. And yeah. you just constantly in the gym. Yeah, and also money. Yeah, money. Yeah, because yeah. it's the richest. Yep. You glory and riches, talking about your house, talking about your car. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got these 20 inch rims on my car. Yeah, yep. yep. It sure does. Showing, how much, showing off your car. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. Just like we said, there's nothing wrong with having those things. You just can't be caught up in it. True. Right? Yeah. You just can't put those things above the most high. Right. Right? Exactly. And then also, you shouldn't rub that in other people's faces. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Right? And they do love to do that. Because some people rub that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like right? smear you. Like, like, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Sure does. That. We can see you You are bragging. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah. And the most high said not to boast about your clothing. True. Or to boast about your riches. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you did say that. Don't boast about those things. True. 
Number one, you should boast about the most high. Yeah. Boast about him. Yeah. Boast, boast about, about the truth. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that's what he said. Glory in this. Glory in the truth. Yeah. Because glory in, that's when you're speaking about it all the time. Yeah. Right? Right? Yeah. Because you see what people are talking about. Yeah, true. You see where their heart's at. Yeah. Because they're going to talk about that all the time. Sure is. You know? Yep. Yeah. You gonna talk about oh you see my car man? Yep. And I said well I gotta go and clean my car this week. Yep. Uh, yep. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get some wax. Yep. You know and I'm gonna shine my car man. I'm gonna show my car it look good mm -hmm. and all that. Yep. But some people worship their car. Sure does. And they made that an idol. Sure did. And that is an idol. Right. Yep. Anything can become an idol. True. Right. Anytime. Just like we can be we can put stars yep. above and we worship them. True. Right. Yep. Anything can become an idol. Anytime. And I hate to say it, some, some people have made themselves an idol. Ooh, that's bad. They stay in the mirror and talk about how fine they that is and all that. that, 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 that is nobody, nobody finer than me. <laughs> all that. And, and you're just worshiping yourself. That is not good. No. You know, because yeah. some people have made themselves yeah. an idol. That's right? Good. You have to get out of that. Oh, yeah, they got to get out of that, man. Right? Oh, so this is what he said. It's easy to make anything an idol. True. Right? Yeah. And you start worshiping all that. Yeah. And that's called idolatry. Sure is. And the Lord's against that. Uh -uh. Yep. No. And there's another scripture. Uh, if you go to uh, Isaiah, I think it's Isaiah 61. Quiet over there. So what right here is in verse 8. So 61 and verse, verse 8. eight. Okay. So the most I tell you, he loves judgment. Yes, he does. Isaiah chapter 61, verse 8. For I, the Lord, love judgment. I hate robbery for burnt offering, and I will direct their work in truth, and will make the everlasting covenant with them. So all y'all in here know the heart of the most high. Yes. He loves judgment. Sure, yes, he does. He's Elohim. Yes, he is. Of judgment. Sure is. Right? Yep. So it's clear. Yep. Right? Exactly. And so right here, so I guess we are in that on that. Mm -hmm. Y'all yeah. Was it good for you? Yes, it's very good. So what Elohim does is forever. So that means the word is forever. That means the law is forever. Yep. So you can't go by what everybody else is telling you. True. Right? Yeah. Because some people say it's done away with. Yeah. Right? So, but, so then they get it from the Bible. But I read something totally different. Right. The Bible says forever. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But you're telling me it's done away with. You're right. It's not done with. No, the it's Bible not. Is. Yeah. Right? So that's man. Yeah, it's man. man. saying that. That's man. Right? Sure is. So, y'all ready? Yeah. Thank you. 